Hi everyone, this is Stalini. So I'm going to do a karmic reading. Um, some people aren't fans of these. I really don't care. So a great karmic reading. I don't know. I talked of her before. She's a wonderful person. Starry Rainbow 1111. Please check her karmic reading out because we always resonate. And she really sums it up and, you know, that's really great for people dealing with karmics. So I'm going to get right into the reading. This is going to be about how the karmic is feeling, what they're thinking, plotting, etc., etc. And if you don't like my video, just get off my page. Also, I have some, like, stalkers on my page that <laughs> I blocked before that keep subscribing. Um, I'm not sure why, but if someone blocks you, why would you keep trying to, you know, be on their page and like do stupid things just to like try and bother me? I don't, I don't, I don't really get the psychosis of certain people, but you know, you probably are a karmic and you don't like it that I blocked you. So yeah. I mean, that's just a perfect segue into, like, the mindset of the karmics. They're really crazy. Now, I don't know. <laughs> Someone's speeding outside. Yeah, crazy. So, I don't know if I'm going to let the comments be open with this one. Because it gets kind of scandalous. But, I'll see. I don't know. So let's see, how's the karmic feeling right now? <laughs> wow. So the karmic wants to talk to the DM. Oh my god. But he is freeing himself, okay? So I said oh my god because that card literally came out in Starry's video. It's like we always get similar messages. The karmic wants to have this engagement with the divine masculine but the divine masculine basically is isolating and ghosting her and focus on his twin flame situation the karmic is feeling like she really really needs to have this heart to heart you know and she's feeling like what she thinks is not what the karmic um situation should be so the karmic feels like she's not getting her way basically and i get that the karmic wants this higher commitment from the divine masculine and feels like she deserves love and she's trying to keep an open mind because she's not getting what she wants okay she's not getting the love offer that she wants what is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Karmic? Yeah, the Divine Masculine is focused on money. What I'm also picking up is the Divine Masculine realizes now that the Karmic just is interested in his money. And the Divine Masculine doesn't want to be in this situation anymore. So... They're looking at the Karmic like a Karmic. They feel like, you know, they had something before but now they don't have anything and they don't really like want this connection like they don't want this relationship so they're moving on that's like six of swords energy they want to heal things within you know their situation with the divine femme because they want to offer a new love with the divine femme so that is how the divine masculine is feeling about the karmic because they basically want to release them like they're not they're not entertaining it at all okay at all and sorry was like release your ex is gonna come out and they, like she got a feeling and hey starry release your ex came out in this so yeah 
They want a new beginning with the Divine Femme, basically. They want this new beginning. So what else is going on with the karmic? I mean, I really don't even have to use cards, but I will. These came flying out. So there's a lot of conflict going on because Divine Masculine, like I said, is basically being hermit, basically isolating, basically ghosting, you know, moving on to this new love right a new beginning with the divine femme and so there's lots of fights lots of fights going on lots of fights argument you know show me more yep arguments with the karmic because they're living in illusion they're not getting clarity they're having major drama like it's just so crazy how these cards come out like please watch star rainbow 11 11 like it's just crazy we got like the same exact cards so the karmic is worried the karmic is not sleeping she's depressed she knows that it's over she knows that it's over and so now she's just oh my gosh so i split the deck eight of cups she knows that the divine masculine doesn't want to be with her anymore basically she knows that this love offer is upside down because he's focused on his empress and he is not you know planning with her he's not taking action he's moving towards his happiness which is with the divine fat okay so yeah and he wants not to put any more offers into the situation he doesn't want to talk about it he doesn't want to think about it um, the karmic literally is trying to hold on to the divine masculine still because they know that the divine masculine is trying to communicate now to the divine them and offer the abundance, happiness, commitment. And so they feel left out in the cold right now. All right. So that's how the karmic's feeling. <laughs> really that is how the comments feel like there's major blowouts going on like some divine masculine they're not even talking to the karmic they have blocked them Let's see what else is going on with the karmic what is she plotting what is going on with her she knows it's over i mean i said that in my other video he knows it is O V E R over. So if this message is not resonating, then the video is not for you. I don't need comments about oh well my such and such is this and that. No, if the video is not resonating, it's not for you. Yep. So right now the karmic is not feeling very abundant. The karmic feels like <laughs> they're restricted, you know, they're trapped in their mind. The karmic feels like things are unbalanced because they want this Ten of Pentacles. They're really plotting, you know, wanting to control the situation still. But things have turned, okay? There has been the Wheel of Fortune. Things have shifted, not in their favor, okay? Because they're being cut out because they're cold, okay? The karmic is cut out. And the um, Divine Masculine is not putting any ambition into the situation anymore. Now, I have to say again, I do my cards differently than others because I go by my psychic media messages. I don't go by, like, traditional cards. But anyway, like I said, the karmic is blocked in some cases. Um, certain divine masculines, they're not talking. There's no communication. There's a communication breakdown. And that's why the karmic is feeling a loss. The karmic is feeling very petty energy because he knows that 
of he knows or she knows that the divine masculine is offering their cup to the divine femme. So they feel a loss, you see, because the divine masculine wants commitment with someone else. All right, so karmics are crying, basically. Karmics are not happy at all, at all. They are not happy. They're in misery, but it's like karma, okay? The wheel, the fortune has turned. And any bad that they have done, they're getting it back. What did I just say? And they're trying to fight this karma. They're trying to stay in the situation because a second chance is coming with the divine masculine and the divine femme. So they know and they're trying to like prevent it from happening, but it's not going to. And that is what the karmic is trying to do right now. It's not gonna work. There's gonna be a second chance, you know, an angel of the past. So the divine masculine is going to his past, the divine femme, and there's going to be this passionate, passionate communication. There's going to be heart to heart with the divine femme. You know, the divine masculine basically is going towards his wish with the nine of cups, okay? And can't make that up. Reconciliation with the divine femme, okay? So that's what's going on because the Divine Masculine is offering an apology, an emotion. So that's making the karmic in their head, in this Eight of Swords energy, because they know that it's only a matter of time, if it didn't already happen, that the Divine Masculine is going to his happiness, going to his love, going to his true other half. And they feel like, He's mine, you know, but he's not. He's not. The divine masculine is hot and cold with her right now, or him. They're not having this four of wands. They're not having this, you know, stability. They're not having this celebration, okay? So the karmic basically is fighting against this transition, you know, the karmic doesn't want this to happen, but guess what? It still is because the divine masculine sees the divine femme as his wish. So it's happening whether they like it or not. And that's that. So go find your own happiness. Yeah, so the karmic has choices, but they don't want to make plans. They need to, but they don't want to. So they're plotting because their love is upside down. They want to have a victory, but they're in this Eight of Swords. They're in this Eight of Swords energy because they're fighting their transition. They're fighting destiny. They don't belong with the Divine Masculine. They think that, you know, they do. They think they're supposed to have this happy life with the Divine Masculine, but they're a karmic. The lessons are expired, and it's time to move the fuck on. <laughs> I don't like to curse. I really don't. But when I do these karmic energies, oh my gosh, the worst comes out. So the karmic doesn't want this new beginning. She's rejecting it. She's thinking about the choices. You know, she's thinking about the divine femme. And she feels like the divine femme is making burdens for her. Meanwhile, she made it, you know, she made the bed that she lays in, basically. And look at that, the eight of cups. Because the divine masculine is walking away walking away so they are sad you know they're full of regret because the divine masculine is going and talking to the beautiful intuitive divine femme they're emotional with the divine femme and they know it so they need to come out of this indecision but they're having conflict because they don't want to 
They feel like the Divine Masculine is being sneaky because he's going towards his dream. And their time is up. There's no love between them. And there really never was. The Divine Masculine thought maybe, but there wasn't. It was very shallow. The Divine Masculine is working on his connection with his twin flame, Divine Femme. And the Divine Feminine is being spied on and stalked by the karmic because she knows this. She knows this and she's not getting what she wants. Tower moments, tower moments. So there's major conflict going on in the house of the karmic. All right. Because they're feeling very insecure right now. Lots of blow up. So the tower card, that card is really ugly sometimes. Yep. So there's going to need to be a lot of healing, you know, because right now it's like upside down and there has to be healing with this devil energy. So basically to clarify the tower card, the karmic is doing like sneaky things. I feel like some karmics are lying on the divine masculine, okay, and trying to get them like arrested or just you know cemented in their in their restriction because the karmic feels like well if he's not going to be with me then he's not going to be with anyone and no sweetie he is going to be with the divine femme it is destined nothing they do could stop it it is going to happen whether they like it or not. So let's see. Show me more about the karmic. Wow. So even the Wheel of Fortune came out in this deck. Tables have turned because that relationship, that commitment is broken. And they're mad because they thought that the Divine Master was supposed to be loyal to them. And they're not. They feel like they're trapped in a puzzle and they're being cut out by the Divine Femme, basically. Because of the Divine Femme, they're getting cut out because the Divine Masculine doesn't want them anymore. The Divine Masculine is tired of wearing these double faces and he wants a stable commitment with his love and all's going to be unlocked and he's rushing towards the Divine Femme with a message, an offer, and all luck is turning in the Divine Femme and Divine Masculine's favor. So basically, nothing good is coming for the karmic right now. Nothing, 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 nothing. So, some of them are having, I'm getting a headache, some of them are having nervous breakdowns because they really thought that they were gonna have this constant love affair. They're mad, you see that? evil evil woman they're mad about this revived passion between the divine masculine and the divine femme because they wanted money and he ended it or he's gonna end it <laughs> death there's nothing coming back from that sweeties fortune has turned in the favor of the divine masculine and divine femme Light has been illuminated, so they're feeling depressed, they're feeling sick, they're feeling, you know, hopeless because they're sad, you know, they're sad that they didn't get their way, they thought they could with kids and everything, they're feeling very, very melancholy, you see that? Over the whole situation, so Divine Masculine is sick of feeling like they're in prison, so a tower moment is happening, and what did I say? Some of them are going to try to literally put the Divine Masculine in prison. I mean, it's so crazy. Like, I just said that and it came out in my Italian cards. Okay? Evil, evil. So if the Divine Masculine is watching this, be careful. Be careful. But that's what's going to happen and is happening to the karmic. They're crying. They're crying because they're not going to get their way. No matter what they do, they're not going to get their way. 
So grab a tissue. Grab a tissue, Carmen. All right. Hope you enjoyed, everyone. Bye.